This is Willie Vogt with Farm Progress, and what you're seeing is the Bale Hawk, a late stage prototype of an automated bale handling machine from Vermeer. It was revealed recently at a private event in Pella, Iowa. Designed to tackle a time consuming chore that many farmers like to avoid, the Bale Hawk can pick up bales three at a time and stack them where you need them in a field saving a hay producer time and boosting efficiency. As this machine went about its work, we got a look at its operation with two developers, Gregory Laughlin, senior software engineer, Vermeer, and Edmund DuPont, Southwest Research Institute of San Antonio, Texas. We talked as I sat in the back of a pickup truck as the bale hawk did some work. It's an interesting machine. Let's check out how it operates. Zoom out a little bit here. So the, the whole system, or eight, 11 GPS points is what it takes to do this. So you've got four GPS points to make what we call the work area. Okay. And that's, you draw where you want your bales cleared from. So if it detects the bale outside of that, like it was picking up some of these, yeah. outside the work area, I'm gonna ignore it because you didn't tell me you wanted the bales picked up. From All there. right. You've got four plus points you can put in for a geofence. So if you're familiar with that, it, the, yep. If the machine breaks that reaches that line, it stops the machine. Right. It's the last command in all the navigation is to check that and make sure we're inside. And then three points in blue, which are, let me see if I can zoom in on that for you, is where our stack is. Okay. So that's the start. That's how long you want your stack to go. And then this is the direction you want to put the next row. Okay. So it's either going to be this trip. Because you're almost your trip, stack's almost full, right? Yeah. Hopefully it's this trip. We'll see it make the next row. Okay. And that's that's all it takes to do this. The green <laughs> the green line, the software figures out on its own. So that's um, some simple math there. We know how wide we can see bales with that sensor. Right. That Edmonds helped us develop. So that's calculated there to know that we have a little bit of overlap. So if we run this line, we have canvassed all of our area. You might kind of see it be like, oh, well, it didn't go get that bale. It was right there. Well, it was too far away from its original point it left. And we programmed that in there to keep it from getting deep inside a bunch of bales and have to avoid and avoid and avoid to try to right. get back. Best thing is to try and move it from the outside of the perimeter in exactly. and clear them the cleanest so way. It's, Simple. It's done that way to, to, to have no obstacles on the way to the unload stack. Or not. But this whole project was, can we pick bales autonomously? So we do have some safety scanners on there, but it's primitive. So when you see it avoid, it's real jerky. It's not super complex, but it gets the job done. Yeah. Um, you can see the. But machine. that's actually, you're in the early stages. You're still in right. prototype mode. Mm -hmm. It would be very simple as sensor prices come down to put some really nice fine grain sensors on these and right. make it yep. accurate and, really well. And like that LIDAR, truth be told, we've, we've vibrated, I think, four of them to death. Well, and that's a challenge with this whole technology. So this thing vibrates a lot. Right. A solid state, that wouldn't be a big deal. Right. Or no. we put the time in to maybe add some suspension. You know, there's many things, but we've finally gotten to the point while you guys are here that we believe we can pick bales autonomously, and then the rest is, is butter for our engineer. You can see the machine here, there's a yellow rectangle. Right. That's my avoid box, and it grows and shrinks on commanded velocity. So right now it's wanting to go full speed, so it's right. big. Um, you'll see that shrink up when it goes real slow around bales. Uh, if we breach the red box, that is an all stop, mm -hmm. so it will stop the machine. As you watch this, when we see a bale, it will make a yellow rod in front of it a little okay. ways. Um, that is to get the machine on axis with the bale, so we pick it straight. You'll see some other rods go, but that's really just kind of diagnosis stuff for us. It's, it's trigger points, so the next rod is when it's going to drop the rack, and the next rod is when it's going to lift the rack. Uh, you'll watch that three times, and then we'll, the same rods will appear over by the stack and it'll, okay, it's cool. kind of cool it transposes that for you. Oh, I know nice. that rod's in the right spot then it's going to pick fine. Huh. And then off it goes to pick up two more bales. Uh, again like ground disturbance when you're picking up corn stock bales by corn cornfield they don't care about turf damage. Right. This is a big deal so there's more work we could put into that to make that more yeah. delicate. I've done what I could, um, but you know, there's research to be done there in 2D. You know, you don't want to tear the net wrapping when you're picking it up. And right. So it's good to see that the, the sensors allow you to see it well enough <laughs> and in time. <laughs> we're drawing can, crowds. <laughs> you can see it in time that you actually do that pick. 
without tearing anything, you still kind of keep the bale intact, which, yeah, is, which is really I impressive. Understand. The bale hawk isn't ready for the market yet, but it offers a new way to tackle work in a limited labor market. Fifty years ago, that same issue, lack of farm labor, led to development of the first round baler by Gary Vermeer. Innovation continues for the company. Reporting for Farm Progress, I'm Willie Vogt.